have a Fox News alert, an update on the chaos at the Astro World Music Festival in Houston. We now know teenagers were among the eight people killed when the crowd rushed the stage during Travis Scott's performance. Shocking video shows fans pleading with the performer to stop the concert amid the chaos. Stop the show! Stop the show! Eventually, the famous rapper realized what was happening and called for security to stop the event. Security, somebody help jump in real quick. Somebody jump in. Come on, come on, security. Garrett Tenney is live at the scene in Houston where law enforcement just gave an update. Garrett. Alicia, this tragedy just gets more heartbreaking as we learn how young these victims are. Eight people were killed last night. The youngest was just 14. Another was 16. The other victims' ages were 21, 23, and 27 years old. We're also learning more about those who were taken to the hospital last night. Uh, 25 people were taken, 13 remain hospitalized, including five who are under the age of 18. Uh, the mayor said investigators are now trying to talk to as many people as they can to piece together exactly what happened. Uh, we are talking with those with individuals who have been hospitalized to try to get a full, a much better understanding of what took place, what went wrong, where were the missteps. The mayor also stressed how much worse this could have been if it wasn't for Good Samaritan stepping in to help some of the folks who got hurt or who had passed out. Roughly 50,000 people showed up for this two day music festival put on by Travis Scott. And when he took the stage last night, a little after nine, the crowd started surging forward to the stage, packing people in so tight that witnesses said it was hard to breathe. Some people started passing out, and the crowd was packed in so tight they couldn't get out. Some people got trampled, others crowd surfed lifeless bodies to try and get those folks help. And I witnessed somebody unconscious struggling to get out, like their friends were trying to get him out, and just people weren't caring enough to like make a path. I'm sitting here, we're sitting here saying, Oh, I had the time of my life, but it's scary to think that was the last time some of these people even, ever even had a life. Today, Travis Scott, a Houston native, released a statement saying in part, I'm absolutely devastated stated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened at Astro World Festival. I am committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. Texas Governor Greg Abbott also weighed in saying, what happened at Astro World Festival last night was tragic and our hearts are with those who lost their lives and and those who were injured in the terrifying crowd surge. The event's organizers have also released a statement saying they are cooperating with this investigation. Police just told us a short time ago that all the footage of that event will be turned over later this evening for investigators to start reviewing. Alicia. Garrett Tenney live in Houston. Garrett, thank you for the update. So let's discuss this. And, and Abby, I want to begin with you because we, we know that there were 50,000 people who were in attendance here. and You have authorities now on the scene. It's hard to imagine how they even begin to start to sort this out when you have thousands of potential witnesses, mm -hmm. plus all of the videos. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, this was a tragic thing, especially when you hear that the dead ranged from 14 years old to 27 years old. But yeah, 50,000 plus people at this concert. You can only imagine what law enforcement officers were trying to do in that moment as these people were pushing towards the stage. I think when something like this happens, people automatically want to point fingers and point blame. And I don't know if we can do that. And we shouldn't be doing that. We should be thinking about these victims and their families. Um, Travis Scott, I know a lot of people right off the bat were saying, why didn't he stop the concert? And, you know, a lot goes through a performer's head when something like that is happening. Maybe he didn't realize, maybe he didn't hear the chance. We, we won't know. But I think about Ariana Grande and what happened in Manchester when that bombing went off and, and, and people lost their lives at her concert, what she went through. So, you know, empathy for 
Travis Scott, of course, these families and the law enforcement, the, the Houston mayor said that uh, the security that was at this concert or this event was more than what was at the World Series. So I don't think it was a lack of security. I don't think it was anyone's fault. And we'll just have to wait until more details come out. But our thoughts and prayers go out to those family families. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Um, we are thinking about all of those families out there who at some point, um, Charlie, are going to be wanting someone to take responsibility for all of this. And that's when it gets really tough, right? Yeah, uh, indeed. And, and can you imagine uh, being a parent of one of those kids? Uh, you know, your kid goes to a concert and you think that it's a pretty, uh, you know, a pretty mm -hmm. healthy, reasonable environment. And then something like this happens. And, uh, you know, and, and of course, in, in a, you know, in the best of circumstances, a concert like this is kind of a controlled chaos anyway. There's a lot of mayhem. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of people are screaming. And, uh, and, and my heart goes out to Travis Scott. Um, you know, can you imagine you can you, the, in his voice, you can sort of uh, hear the frustration of him trying to control the crowd. Out at once he realizes what's going on here. But it really is incredibly tragic and it's inc incredibly sad. And I think you're right, Abby. It's just, you know, it is uh, far too early uh, and probably uh, will always be very difficult to sort of assign any kind of blame or anything like that. Um, you know, we'll see. Obviously, it will be uh, uh, deeply investigated, but, um, but it is uh, truly, truly a tragedy. And, and Joe, you know, I was thinking about this as we were hearing all of the statements um, of so many entities here saying that they are participating. We know, you know specifically, that the more coverage there is, the more interviews there are, that people then start to take sides and blame starts to occur. A lot of finger pointing is to be expected in the coming weeks. Of course, that's just the DNA, unfortunately, uh, of our country as a whole in these situations, right? Uh, it's a blame culture. And yeah. at this point, we certainly have more questions than answers. Uh, to Charlie's point, when you hear that uh, a child even as young as 10 years old uh, was badly injured here, you hear about people experiencing cardiac arrest. These are mostly young people. Uh, again, I'm a parent of a six and an eight-year-old. I couldn't imagine getting that call. What, my, my child was injured. My, my child was killed. They were at a, a harmless concert. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine what those folks are going through right now. Absolutely. We're all in agreement on that. Thanks, guys. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.